So last night, Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama faced backlash from members of his own party who angrily challenged his months-long blockade. They attempted to unanimously approve 61 military promotions by voice vote for more than four hours. Tuberville rejected each nomination as his colleagues' frustrations grew. We have done the best that we can to honor the request of a fellow senator that these nominations be brought to the floor and voted on individually. And I really respect men of their word. I do not respect men who do not honor their word. No matter where you believe it or not, Senator Turbeville, this is doing great damage to our military. I don't say that lightly. If this is the norm, who the hell wants to serve in the military when your promotion can be canned based on something you had nothing to do with? It's simply a, in my opinion, a, an abuse of the powers we have as senators to say if there's something we vehemently disagree with, that we're going to use that power to hold up the promotion of over 350 men and women in our military. These are the people who are kicking in doors in Fallujah, shooting terrorists in the face. And we have people saying they're desk jockeys and they're not warriors. That's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it's insulting. The Chinese admirals and their military, they're probably watching this debate right now going, I can't believe my luck. I can't believe our luck. Maybe we should attack Taiwan tomorrow. We're going to look back at this episode and just be stunned. And what a national security suicide mission this became. So Senator Sullivan wow. served in the United States Marine Corps for yeah. many years. Joni Ernst, Senator Ernst, served as well. Uh, you see the frustration there that, again, we've been hearing privately. Right. Sometimes we'll hear Mitch McConnell say sort of politely, I disagree yeah. with what Senator Tuberville is doing, but it's the way the system's set up. Somehow, for some reason yesterday, the dam broke yeah. and they all came out against Tuberville. I think a lot of it, uh, Jonathan Weir, probably has to do with the fact that you, you had a, an episode with a Marine Corps commandant. I mean, and, and by the way, I guarantee you every one of those senators, first of all, were angry behind the scenes all along. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I guarantee you every one of those senators got calls from the Pentagon going, what in the holy hell are you guys doing? We've got guys being sent to the hospital now because they're, like one job is enough. To, 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 to just absolutely rip somebody apart. You're making them do two, three, four jobs because of this clown from Alabama that even people in Alabama don't support? Like, you know the pressure coming from the Pentagon with one of their own being sent to the hospital on a, on a health issue. I mean, you know it's getting intense now. Yeah, and that Marine Corps leader hospitalized over the weekend. He had spoken openly days previously that he is working two jobs and simply couldn't do it. He couldn't, he, he was too much. And now we saw him have this health episode. My understanding is talking to a few Republicans involved with this yesterday, that that played a role, as of course, just the escalating crisis in the Middle East. This is not a moment where the U.S. military cannot be at anything other than at full readiness, as we have two aircraft carriers in the region. And of course, there are still hot, the war in Ukraine and concerns about China and Taiwan as well. And we saw from Lindsey Graham, who of course is a, is a hawk and always been pro-military, he was very firm. Dan Sullivan from Alaska, the strongest voice there, Mitt Romney, there were others, all taking shot after shot after shot of Tumble, who says he won't back down. He says he's staying with this oh despite the onslaught from his own party. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Joni Ernst uh, spoke quietly but gave George one of, one of the harshest digs when she finished by saying, I don't respect men who don't keep their word. Yeah.